Have you ever noticed the bluish tint in your cat's or dog's eyes as they've been aging? And did you wonder, are they going blind? Well, before you panic, <laughs> let me tell you all about lenticular sclerosis. I'm Dr. M, welcome to BMC. Today we are going to be covering what lenticular sclerosis is, how it forms, what if anything we can do to treat and prevent it, when you need to be concerned, and what you and your veterinarian should be doing for your pet's eyes as they age. Join me, you'll learn something today. Before we can go on to explain lenticular sclerosis, aka nuclear sclerosis, those two phrases are pretty much interchangeable, the first thing you need to understand is what the lens of the eye is. So the lens is in the middle of the globe of the eye, and it is what changes position as light passes through it in order to allow your dog or your cat to focus on things that are at different distances. Now, lenticular sclerosis is an aging change that occurs in the lens of the eye of your dog or your cat. As our pets age, their lenses become denser and harder. Now the exact mechanism of why is somewhat poorly understood. Our best understanding at this point is that the lens continues to need new cells, but there's nowhere for the old cells to go. Imagine the lens a little bit like a seed in the middle of a grape, if the grape is the eyeball and the seed is sitting in the middle. As the new cells form, the older cells are compressed more and more and more, and the new cells kind of form additional layers to the lens. This increase in density and hardness of the lens will cause the light to scatter a little bit differently, and that is what gives us this hazy, bluish characteristic that we think of when we are describing lenticular sclerosis. Let's dive into the common symptoms or signs that you might see if your pet is developing this issue with their lens. The most characteristic feature is a transparent, even, symmetrical haze that tends to be bluish or grayish tinted. And this haze is seen on the pupils. It's usually in dogs that are over six years of age, although with my own dog, I noticed the very beginnings of it when she was five. We estimate that it's in about 50% of dogs by the time they are nine, and in all dogs by the time they are 13. For cats, we tend to start noticing this issue when they're around eight or nine years of age. Breed and gender do not appear to play a role. All dogs, all cats are predisposed to this aging related change. Of course, we can't have our cats and dogs look at letter charts like humans do to assess how well they are able to see at different distances. Our best knowledge and understanding is that there's not any significant vision loss. However, there might be changes in depth perception or there might be a worsening of ability to see detail, especially at distances and clinically I find clients tell me most often that they first notice that their animal is having issues in kind of poor lighting conditions so think dawn or dusk that they'll notice their pets are a bit more hesitant or just seem unsure now it is very important that if you notice any changes with your pet's eyes that you do see your veterinarian and a thorough eye exam needs to be done. This should start with dilating the pupil and the reason why we need to do this before we diagnose something like lenticular sclerosis is because the very beginnings of cataract changes can look very similar to lenticular sclerosis. Once we have the pupil dilated, then we can use a light source called a slit lamp in a darkened room. And with that, we very carefully look at the lens of the eye where we are looking for the subtle differences between the beginning of cataracts versus what lenticular sclerosis looks like. So I am going to touch briefly here on the fact that 
Lenticular or nuclear sclerosis is absolutely not cataracts. They are completely different things. Cataracts will reduce the ability of light to get to the retina, and so they do absolutely cause a reduction in vision and can lead to complete blindness if they're not treated. It's particularly important to know if your animal has lenticular sclerosis or cataracts because cataracts should be treated relatively early. The earlier they are treated, the more successful the treatment and the better the long-term outcome for those patients. And we do this with a surgical procedure to remove the cataracts. So if you see your veterinarian and they aren't sure about whether your animal is dealing with lenticular sclerosis or the beginnings of cataracts, you may be referred to a veterinary ophthalmologist just to be sure. I actually took my own dog to see a veterinary ophthalmologist when I first noticed the change in my own dog's eyes because I wanted to be absolutely certain with what I was dealing with just so that I could make sure I had the appropriate treatment plan implemented. Next, let's move on to the treatment for lenticular sclerosis. There are a number of things that can be done and considered depending on how it's impacting your pet. I will have some clients tell me that they haven't noticed a single change with their pet and they're actually surprised when I notice on a general exam that their animal is having this aging change and that I'm seeing lenticular sclerosis when doing my physical exam. But then there are other people who will bring their animals in because they have noticed some changes. So considering things like keeping your household furniture in the same spots, just so that if when it is dawn or dusk or dark that your animal just knows where they are able to move without bumping into things. You can also consider things like night lights that might be helpful for some pets. It's also important to remember that cumulative sun damage can increase the speed at which lenticular sclerosis develops. So you may need to be discussing something like doggles with sun protection for your dog's eyes, especially if you live somewhere that has a lot of sun exposure. There's also one research paper that did demonstrate that as our dogs are aging, that a lot of them will become more nearsighted as they age. And so considering making hand signals larger for your dog as they're older if you use hand signals as part of your cues or pairing a verbal cue with a more obvious hand signal may be very helpful to your dog as their eyes are aging. There does seem to be a difference noted that younger dogs will be more quickly able to adjust to different lighting conditions and to viewing objects at different distances. We believe this is because younger animals have a more flexible lens. Last Lastly, you should be seeing your veterinarian for an eye exam every six months if lenticular sclerosis has been found in your animal. Now, of course, older pets should be having physical exams every six months or maybe more frequently depending on their medical history anyway. And so this doesn't increase that frequency, but just something to remember and think about. This is because as our pets are older, they are more prone to developing other eye issues. Cataracts may also play a role, although that's a different issue. Your pet may have lenticular sclerosis and start to develop cataracts. And we don't want to miss the beginning of that happening because of that blue haziness that's already present in their eye. Lastly, I just want to touch on some symptoms that do indicate your animal needs urgent or emergent veterinary attention. So if you notice that there is a sudden change in vision or a sudden or even gradual but significant increase in the cloudiness of the eye, if you notice that your pet is squinting or rubbing at their face, that their eye is looking red or having discharge, that they're holding it closed, all of those are urgent or emergent symptoms that can indicate other problems like retinal detachments or cataracts or infections with the eye and those do require same day veterinary assessment and treatment. I would just be remiss if I didn't mention those things to you because almost everything that happens with eyes are emergencies. They're often quite painful and they can get very bad very fast leading to very serious outcomes. So keep an eye, pun intended, 
out for those sorts of symptoms and make sure you see your veterinarian right away if you ever notice any of them. So to summarize, lenticular sclerosis is a normal part of aging and an issue that will impact many of our pets as they grow older. I hope that you found this information in this video helpful. I appreciate you taking your pet's health so seriously. I do put up a new video most Fridays and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.